ever pondered about the inception of the universe, the grand cosmic theater we are a part of? This question sparks interest and curiosity about our origins and purpose in the cosmic realm. The universe, with, with its grandeur and complexities, isn't a random occurrence. It's not by mere chance that we find ourselves dwelling on a small planet, revolving around a star in an almost infinite cosmic expanse. The universe, with all its galaxies, stars, planets, and everything we know and perceive has an origin. Every celestial body, from the tiniest particle to the most, has a point of creation. Our understanding and knowledge point to the genesis of all existence primarily through the concept of the Big Bang Theory. This theory, although it sounds simple, is incredibly profound, and it explains how our universe as we know it today came into being. The Big Bang Theory is a cosmological model that expounds on the observable universe's transformation and evolution. It puts forth the idea that the universe, once in an extremely high temperature and density state, experienced a rapid expansion. This sudden and rapid expansion caused the universe to cool down and subsequently form form into the structure we are familiar with today. Understanding the Big Bang Theory is akin to embarking on a time-traveling voyage back to the very inception of our universe. It's about tracing the roots of our universe and understanding how it all began. Now let's visualize the Big Bang together. Picture everything that exists, everything within your reach and beyond, compressed into a singular, infinitesimally small dot. This is what we refer to as a singularity. Approximately 13 billion years ago, this singularity exploded in a phenomenal event we now refer to as the Big Bang. This wasn't a typical explosion, the kind that leads to destruction. Instead, it was a rapid stretching of space-time itself. This event, this monumental explosion, marked the birth of our universe. In the immediate moments that followed the Big Bang, the universe was a bubbling, chaotic soup of particles and radiation, extremely hot and dense. The universe's operation and functioning are governed by four fundamental forces that came into existence in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Gravity, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force. As the universe continued to cool down and expand, particles of began to emerge. Over time, these particles coalesced into atoms, the basic building blocks of everything we see around us. The Big Bang was a remarkable event a significant occurrence that marked the commencement of everything we know and are yet to discover, a single point that led to the creation of a never-ending, expanding universe. The magnitude and scale of such an event inspire awe and kindle our curiosity to keep exploring. The Big Bang Theory, although widely accepted, is still a theory. It still has many unanswered questions, mysteries yet to be revealed. Yet it's these unanswered questions, these mysteries that us to keep searching, to keep seeking answers, to keep looking beyond what our eyes can see, beyond our current understanding. Our innate curiosity is what propels us forward in our cosmic journey. It's our thirst for knowledge that has led us to uncover many secrets of the universe. And as we continue on our cosmic journey, let's always remember that we are all part of this grand cosmic theater. We are both spectators and participants in this vast cosmic play. From an infinitesimally small point, the universe expanded into the vast expanse we see today. In this vast expanse, the formation of oceans began. As the Earth cooled, water vapor began to escape and condense in the Earth's early atmosphere. Clouds formed and rain began to fall, filling the low areas of the Earth's surface and creating the first oceans. And that, my friends, is just the beginning of our cosmic journey. As the curtains rise on the cosmic stage, we witness a timeline of events that led to the formation of the universe as we know it. This journey of the universe, from an amorphous, chaotic expanse to a complex, structured cosmic theater, is an awe-inspiring saga that spans billions of years. In the initial moments that followed the Big Bang, the colossal explosion that marked the birth of the universe, the cosmos was nothing more than a scorching, dense, disordered soup of particles, a place where matter existed in an unrecognizable form, where time and space were still nascent entities, and where the laws of physics, as we understand them today, were yet to be established. During these chaotic beginnings, the universe was in a state of extreme heat, so intense that even the simplest atomic particles, protons and neutrons, could not bind together. But as seconds turned into minutes, the universe began to cool and expand, 
setting the stage for a very crucial phase in its evolution, the era of nucleosynthesis. This period, which lasted for approximately three fleeting minutes, witnessed the formation of the atomic nuclei. As the universe cooled sufficiently, protons and neutrons began to combine, forming the nuclei of the basic lighter elements, hydrogen and helium. Following nucleosynthesis, the next significant stage in the universe's timeline was recombination. As the universe continued to expand and cool, these primordial atomic nuclei captured electrons to form neutral atoms. This process, called recombination, was a seminal turning point in the cosmic saga. It allowed photons to travel freely without colliding with charged particles, changing the fabric of the universe fundamentally. With this, the universe became transparent and light was able to permeate the cosmos. However, even with light, the universe was still far from resembling the star-studded expanse we see today. It was a dark place, a seemingly infinite void filled with vast, expansive clouds of hydrogen and helium gas. Yet within these nebulous clouds, small regions began to collapse under their own gravity, an early indication of the formation of celestial bodies. As these regions collapsed, they grew hotter and denser, until their cores ignited with nuclear fusion, giving birth to the first stars. These were not mere twinkling lights in the vast expanse of the universe, they were the progenitors of galaxies, the building blocks of the universe. These stars did not exist in isolation. They were born in clusters, forming the seeds of the first galaxies. Over time, these galaxies grew, merging and interacting with one another, shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. As more and more galaxies formed, the universe's landscape altered dramatically. The dark, formless expanse of the early universe gave way to a cosmic panorama replete with galaxies, stars, and other celestial bodies. This cosmic ballet of stars and galaxies was not a random dance. It was guided by the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. These forces, working in harmony, gave birth to the stars, shaped the galaxies, and dictated the evolution of the universe. They transformed the universe from a state of chaos into a structured entity, a grand cosmic filled with stars and galaxies. So, from a state of chaos, a structured universe emerged. Through processes of nucleosynthesis, recombination, and gravitational collapse, the universe transformed from dense soup of particles into a vast cosmic stage filled with stars and galaxies. These processes followed a certain order, a timeline if you will, setting the stage for the creation of everything we observe in the cosmos today. The universe we see today is a testament to this cosmic journey. Every star we see in the night sky, every galaxy we observe through our telescopes, and every particle of matter that exists is a product of this incredible journey. It's a journey that began in chaos and culminated in order, a journey that transformed an infant universe into a cosmic stage of infinite possibilities. This timeline set the stage for the creation of everything we observe in the cosmos today. In this cosmic grandeur, our solar system too had a humble beginning. The universe as we know it is a vast and breathtaking expanse that defies comprehension. It is a realm of incredible dimensions, seemingly infinite distances, and an untold number of celestial bodies. To truly grasp the magnitude of our universe, we must delve deep into the roots of space and time, venturing back some 4.6 billion years to a time when our solar system was nothing more than an idea, a potentiality waiting to be realized in the cosmic fabric of existence. The universe of that time was a very different place. It was an unfathomable emptiness filled with an endless horizon of twinkling celestial bodies and a soft ethereal glow cast by an infinity of stars. This was a universe in its infancy, a universe filled with potential, where the possibilities were as limitless as the stars in the night sky. In the midst of this vast, seemingly boundless cosmic cathedral, one particular giant molecular cloud stood out. It was an entity in the cosmos that was brimming with potential, a mass of matter that was on the verge of a colossal transformation, a metamorphosis of epic proportions. This cloud, an enormous collection of dust, ice, and gas, was about to embark on a journey that would forever alter its fate and, by extension, our own. 
The catalyst that ignited this transformation could have been a shockwave from a nearby supernova, an explosive event of a star reaching the end of its life cycle. Alternatively, it could have been the collision of galaxies, a cataclysmic event that sends ripples through the cosmos. Regardless of the exact starting point, the result was same. This cloud began to collapse under the force of its own gravity, a force so powerful that it could shape matter and energy into entirely new forms. As the cloud collapsed, it started to spin, engaging in a cosmic dance that played out over millions of years. The center of this swirling mass of matter grew hotter and denser, an intense concentration of matter and energy that was the first step in the formation of a protostar. This protostar, a young celestial object still in its infancy, was the seed that would eventually grow into our sun, the beating heart of our solar system, the prime source of light and life. At this stage, you might be wondering about the rest of the solar system. The truth is, as the protostar continued to gather mass, the rest of the cloud didn't simply evaporate and disappear into the ether of space. Instead, it flattened out into a spinning disk of gas and dust surrounding the protostar, a stage known to astronomers as the protoplanetary disk. The protoplanetary disk was a cosmic nursery, a place of creation where the raw materials of the solar system swirled and collided. This dance of cosmic dust and gases wasn't merely chaotic, it was the cradle of life, a place where the building blocks of our solar system were first formed. It was here that the foundations of our solar system were laid, a process that was not haphazard but rather the result of precise and intricate celestial mechanics. Over countless millions of years, these particles began to stick together, forming clumps that grew larger, and these clumps, like dust bunnies under a cosmic bed, eventually became known as planetesimals, the very building blocks of planets. These planetesimals, each a unique combination of matter and energy, were the seeds that would grow into the planets of our solar system. Inside this vast spinning disk, closer to the burgeoning protostar, the conditions were too hot for volatile substances like water and methane to condense. As a result, the inner planets, including our very own Earth, were forced to form from denser materials such as rock and metal. These materials, forged in the fiery heart of the protostar, gave birth to terrestrial bodies, celestial entities that would become the rocky foundations of our solar system. Further out, where the temperatures were cooler, the gas giants we know today as Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune began to take shape. These distant behemoths, with their swirling atmospheres, atmospheres, and numerous moons, were the result of a more serene environment, a cosmic neighborhood where lighter, gaseous materials could survive and coalesce. They became the outer guardians of our solar system, celestial giants that stand as testament to the diversity and complexity of our cosmic neighborhood. After about 50 million years, the protostar at the center of the disk had gathered enough mass and pressure to ignite nuclear fusion in its core. This process, a celestial event of unfathomable power and energy, marked arrival as a fully formed star, a celestial beacon that would illuminate our corner of the cosmos for billions of years to come, our sun. From a cloud of dust and gas, our solar system took shape, setting the stage for the birth of our planet. This is the extended and detailed story of the birth of our solar system, a tale that spans the breadth of cosmic dust, gravity, and time. A tale of origins, of beginnings, of creation. A tale that serves as a testament to our humble beginnings in the vast cosmic grandeur of the universe. In the newborn solar system, a new actor emerges on the cosmic stage, our planet, Earth. As the vast cosmos danced in the backdrop, a unique event was about to unfold. In the sprawling expanse of the universe, a tiny, seemingly insignificant cluster of matter was coming together to form our home planet. This was the birth of Earth, a planet that would eventually harbor life, become a nurturing home for millions of species, and the only known celestial body to sustain life as we know it. The genesis of Earth wasn't a simple event. It was a slow, deliberate process that spanned over billions of years. Born amid a swirling disk of dust, interspersed with gas, Earth's first ever baby steps into existence occurred around four and a half billion years ago. The years that ensued defined what is known as the Hadean Eon, named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld. This was the first epoch in the history of our planet, 
an era that saw the initial form of Earth taking shape. The Hadean Eon, by all accounts, was a hellish period, an era of chaos and upheaval. It saw Earth in its fiery infancy. Bathed in a sea of molten lava, the planet was more a celestial furnace than a prospective home for life. The surface teemed with volcanic activity and was largely covered by an ocean of magma, a stark contrast to the blue and green landscapes we know today. The temperatures during this time were astronomically high, often reaching several thousand degrees. This was a testament to the planet's violent nascence and tumultuous beginnings. Under such scorching conditions, the Earth was a constantly evolving sphere of matter, shifting and changing under the relentless forces of thermodynamics and quantum mechanics. As Earth hurtled through space, it was bombarded by meteorites, adding to the already chaotic environment. These celestial bodies, hurtling at breakneck speeds, collided with the young Earth, adding mass and further heating the surface. Their impact was so colossal that they frequently melted the entire planet, a process that most likely repeated several times during the Hadean era. Despite the turmoil, over time the planet began to cool. As it lost heat, the outermost layer of the molten mantle began to solidify, forming the first crust of the planet. This crust, as one might imagine given the hostile conditions, was unstable and short-lived. It was in a constant state of flux, melting and reforming the onslaught of meteorite bombardment and the planet's intense heat. Yet, it was through these trials that Earth started evolving. Every single time the crust reformed, it became a bit more stable, a bit more permanent. Layer by layer, the crust gradually thickened, forming the foundation for all future continents. This was the crucial first step in the creation of a solid planet, a testament to Earth's resilience and tenacity. While the Hadean Eon was a hostile time, it was also a period of transformation. Amidst the turmoil, Earth was gradually taking shape, its character being forged in the unforgiving fires of creation. It was a world in flux, a fiery celestial body undergoing a metamorphosis into a rocky planet. The Hadean Eon set the stage for the next act in Earth's grand history. From the fiery maelstrom, a solid rocky planet was born, an entity that would eventually become the cradle of life. Despite the harsh conditions, despite the chaotic beginnings, Earth began its journey through time, embarking on a that would see its transformation from a fiery, molten mass into a world teeming with life. Despite the harsh conditions, Earth began its journey through time, awaiting its transformation. As Earth cooled down, the stage was set for the first signs of life. Enveloping us in this narrative journey, we are taken back to a time before our comprehension, specifically to the Archean Eon. This eon, a time period that stretches from 4 billion to 2.5 billion years ago, was deeply immersed in the fathomless depths of antiquity. It marked the genesis of significant changes and developments on the planet we now fondly refer to as home. Essentially, this era laid the cornerstone for the existence of life as we perceive it today. During this archaic eon, the tale of our Earth was molded by a series of extraordinary and awe-inspiring incidents. The Earth's crust, which initially was a boiling hub of molten rock, experienced a considerable decrease in temperature. This cooling process triggered the formation of a solid shell that enveloped the planet, furnishing it with a protective layer. However, it's vital to bear in mind that this newly formed crust bore no resemblance to the terrestrial ground we tread today. It was a delicate, fragile crust, devoid of the firmness we are familiar with. It in a perpetual state of flux, evolving and transforming due to the internal geological activities transpiring in the Earth's core. The Archean Eon was characterized by a period of frequent and violent volcanic eruptions, a testament to the raw, untamed forces of nature. These explosive discharges and array of gases, significantly contributing to the formation of our planet's nascent atmosphere. Crucially, this primordial atmosphere was vastly different from the one we breathe today, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and vaporized and vaporized water. Emerging from this tumultuous phase, another significant event took place. The Earth's crust, now significantly cooler, facilitated the condensation of water released from the volcanic eruptions into the atmosphere. This led to the birth of the first ever clouds to grace the Earth's sky. Over time, these embryonic clouds became saturated with water vapor, 
eventually reaching a saturation point where they could no longer retain all the moisture. This resulted in the first rainfall on Earth. Over centuries, this rainwater accumulated in the shallow depressions and crevices on the Earth's crust, leading to the formation of the first bodies of water, precursors to our oceans and seas. With the advent oceans, conditions were ripe for the emergence the first life forms. The intriguing question that arises, however, is this. How did life emerge from non-living question has incited numerous debates among the scientific community with various hypotheses offering potential explanations. The most widely accepted hypothesis postulates that life sprang from the depths of these ancient oceans through a process termed abiogenesis. Abiogenesis in scientific terminology refers to the concept that life originated from simple non-living organic compounds. Over vast expanses, vast expanses of time, these elementary compounds underwent a series of evolutionary processes, gradually transforming into more complex and diverse life forms. The initial life forms were single-celled organisms, simple in structure yet profoundly significant. These organisms served as the vanguard, the brave trailblazers of a world that was gradually inching closer to the conditions we recognize today. In the warm, mineral-rich waters of the early oceans, these primitive life forms found their dwelling. It was within these nourishing waters that they embarked on their evolutionary journey. Over billions of years, they multiplied, adapted, diversified, and evolved in complexity. This slow, gradual process marked the inception inception of life on Earth. From these humble beginnings, life began to thrive, evolving into a myriad of life forms. From tiny microorganisms to massive creatures, Life spread across every corner of the planet, adapting to a myriad of habitats and of habitats, and populating each ecological niche with a vast diversity of life forms. In the immense cosmic theater, Earth had now become a stage where life had commenced its long, complex play. This play continues to unfold, a story that is still being scripted, as life on Earth continues to evolve and adapt in response to changing conditions. The narrative of life on Earth is a testament, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life and serves as a reminder of our own place in this grand cosmic tale. Indeed, in the vast cosmic theater, Earth was now a stage where life had begun its long complex play. Life on Earth was about to bring about a revolution, the oxygen revolution. Our planet was on the verge of a colossal shift, a transformation so immense that it was difficult to fathom. As the Earth turned on its axis, the sphere of existence that we recognize as our home was inching towards a radical change. This was not a spontaneous event, but a gradual process that built over the span of billions of years, instigated by the unassuming yet groundbreaking machinery of life. We are about to journey back to the beginnings of life on our planet, to an epoch that forever changed the trajectory of life on Earth. To truly comprehend the significance of this period, we must immerse ourselves in the depths of time and venture into the heart of the Proterozoic Eon. The Proterozoic Eon is a remarkable chapter in Earth's history. This time period stretching stretching from two and a half billion to approximately 540 million years ago was a critical phase in the Earth's evolution. Our planet was a young, vibrant sphere, still in its formative years. The land masses were gradually emerging from the planet's core creating a plethora of unique landscapes. The oceans, on the other hand, were a realm of vast expanses, nurturing the initial steps of evolution in their tumultuous depths. These proterozoic seas were teeming with a spectrum of microscopic organisms, each playing a crucial part in the intricate tapestry of life on Earth. Among these organisms were the bacteria, aimlessly floating in the ocean's embrace, primitive yet exceptionally significant in their existence. These bacteria were the embodiment of the initial spark of life, the first chapter in the fascinating saga of life on our planet. Among these bacteria, a unique group known as the cyanobacteria emerged as true trailblazers. As true trailblazers. Unassuming in appearance, these cyanobacteria had a profound impact on life on Earth. Their secret weapon was photosynthesis, a process that would forever alter the course of evolution on our planet. Photosynthesis is a process that uses sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to produce oxygen and glucose. Cyanobacteria were the pioneers of this technique, and their mastery of photosynthesis had a profound impact on our planet's atmosphere. 
As cyanobacteria multiplied and flourished, the oceans transformed into a bustling hub of oxygen production. This silent revolution spread over billions of years dramatically modified Earth's atmosphere. Prior to this, the Earth's atmosphere was full of methane and nitrogen, with little to no oxygen. This was about to change drastically due to the photosynthetic prowess of the cyanobacteria, the increase in oxygen levels of effects. Firstly, it led to the formation of the ozone layer, a protective shield that safeguarded the Earth from harmful solar radiation. Secondly, this shift in atmospheric composition allowed for an unparalleled development. Life, previously confined to the oceans, could now venture onto land. Oxygen is critical for complex life forms. It provides the energy required for cells to grow, multiply, and function. With an increase in atmospheric oxygen, life on Earth was ready to evolve into more intricate and diverse forms. These cyanobacteria laid the groundwork for the incredible biodiversity we witness today. They were the architects of a new epoch, the catalysts of a revolution that forever altered the course of life on Earth. The oxygen revolution was more than a biological phenomenon. It was the defining moment in Earth's history, a turning point that marked the dawn of a new era. From the smallest microbe to the colossal whale, every living organism on Earth has been shaped by the oxygen revolution. This revolution Earth for the next stage in the play of life, setting the stage for an extraordinary display of life's diversity and resilience. In conclusion, the oxygen revolution was a microscopic revolution that laid the foundation for the grand spectacle of life as we know it. It marked the beginning of a new chapter in the history of our planet, a chapter filled with fantastic creatures, towering forests, and intricate ecosystems. This is the awe-inspiring story of life on Earth, a tale of transformation, resilience, and survival. It is a testament to the mesmerizing power of life to adapt, survive, and thrive in the face of adversity. With the oxygen revolution, Earth was ready for the next act in the play of life. Welcome to the Phanerozoic Eon, the age of visible life. Derived from Greek, the term Phanerozoic encapsulates the essence of an era where life became visible. This remarkable epoch, one of Earth's most consequential periods, holds a unique place among the annals of Earth's history. The Phanerozoic Eon is characterized by its transformative and dynamic changes, both in life and the environment. As we journey into this striking era, we travel back an astonishing 540 million years in the past to the inception of this period. The term Phanerozoic is more than just a title. It's a symbol of its profound significance. Stemming from two Greek roots, Phaneros, meaning visible, and Zoe, signifying life, this era is defined by visibility, a striking display of life forms that left indelible marks in the form of fossil evidence. Of fossil evidence. Rewind the tape of time just a little before this eon, and life was primarily microscopic, leaving behind only the faintest, beautifully enigmatic traces of its existence. The advent of the Phanerozoic, however, heralded a bold paradigm shift, marking the dawn of a future teeming with diversity, intricacy, and infinite potential. Marking a crucial chapter in our planet's chronicle, the Phanerozoic Eon witnessed life making a significant leap from primitive existence towards an era defined by diversity and complexity. Life was no longer confined to the rudimentary living conditions of single-celled organisms. Instead, it evolved into multicellular organisms, prompting an irrevocable shift in the biosphere and marking a significant evolutionary jump. Imagine a world where the ocean floor is abundant with life, where organisms are no longer simple, single-celled entities, but complex structures composed of millions of cells. The number of cells in these organisms multiplied, multiplied exponentially, and concurrently, their functions also increased in complexity. During this time, organisms began developing separate tissues and organs, which laid the groundwork for the creation of complex life forms. From the simplest forms of life, organisms evolved into complex beings, capable of locomotion, digestion, and even reproduction. The newly developed ability for locomotion liberated them from the whims of water currents. The advent of digestive systems allowed them to process various foods, fueling their growth and diversifying their diet. Reproduction evolved from a straightforward process of cell division into an intricate, specialized process involving different types of cells. Yet the evolution of multicellular organisms was only one aspect of the story. 
the Phanerozoic Eon was also marked by extraordinary geological transitions. Earth's lithosphere, the rigid outer layer of our planet, experienced tectonic activities on an unprecedented scale. The continents, as we know them today, began to form, drifting and colliding over millions of years. These tectonic shifts were instrumental in shaping Earth's climate, topography, geographical distribution, impacting the evolution, growth, and dispersal of life across the globe. The Phanerozoic Eon witnessed remarkable biological diversification, often referred to as the Cambrian Explosion. Life branched out in all directions, occupying every conceivable ecological niche. The oceans, the land, the air, all became stages for the dynamic saga of life. Countless species of dinosaurs, mammals, birds, insects, and plants emerged, each with unique adaptations to survive in their respective environments. These species made Earth their home, utilizing all available resources and exploring every opportunity for survival. The diversity of life was mind-boggling, showcasing a spectrum of colors, shapes, sizes, and behaviors. It was an era of fierce competition and innovation, a time when life learned to adapt, survive, and thrive in the face of adversity. One of the most significant events in the Phanerozoic Eon was the emergence of a species that would dramatically alter the planet, us, humans. After millions of years of evolution and countless iterations of life forms, Homo sapiens finally entered the scene. A species that began as a small, insignificant part of the biosphere soon came to dominate planet, shaping it in ways no other species ever could. From a barren rock to a thriving planet, Earth's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. The Phanerozoic Eon has played a monumental role in shaping this journey. This era is a testament to the incredible power of evolution, the resilience of life, and its ingenious adaptability. It also serves as a stark reminder of the profound impact life, particularly human life, can have on our planet. The story of the Phanerozoic Eon is not just about the birth and evolution. It is a testament to the power of adaptability and survival against all odds. It is a story that underscores the diversity and complexity of life on Earth, reminding us of our humble beginnings and the remarkable journey that has brought us to where we are today. In this cosmic drama, there's one more actor we haven't introduced yet, our moon. The moon, an extraordinary cosmic companion to our home planet Earth, has a mesmerizing, complex, and enigmatic tale that instills an immense sense of awe and profound, profound reflection. The story of its origin isn't only intriguing, it's profoundly captivating, representing a riveting chapter in the grand tale of cosmic history. This celestial entity's existence and formation is a gripping, incredible story that stretches billions of years back to an epoch in cosmic history when the universe was just breaking ground, characterized by tumultuous and violent cosmic occurrences. The setting of our tale is the Hadean Eon, a tumultuous, volatile period in Earth's early history that lasted hundreds of millions of years. During this intense and tempestuous era, our blue planet, not yet fully formed, was wrestling with its own formation. It was a time of immense chaos, as Earth was not yet a solitary entity within its cosmic neighborhood. In the vicinity, another celestial body was embarking on its journey through the vast, seemingly infinite expanse of the solar system. Entity, approximately the size of Mars, was characterized by its significant mass and momentum. Known among the scientific community as Theia, this cosmic object was on a precarious journey, its path designed to intercept Earth's orbit. This impending collision was not a catastrophic disaster, but rather a cataclysmic merger of two celestial bodies with profound implications. The approach of Theia, perhaps slow and gradual, culminated in an impact of monumental scale. The resulting collision led to a significant portion of Earth and Theia vaporizing upon impact, leading to the formation of a massive ring of debris encircling our planet. Imagine the sight, our home planet shrouded in a dusty halo, a breathtaking testament to the immense, unimaginable violence that had just unfolded. This was anything but an ordinary event. The aftermath of this collision was a sight to behold, a visual marvel that would have left onlookers stunned. But the universe's grand architect, gravity, had more to contribute. This unseen force, responsible for carving galaxies and forming stars, was slated to play another pivotal, crucial role. Over the course of thousands of years, 
gravity started the process of consolidating the scattered debris. This gravitational pull initiated the process of accretion, drawing the fragmented pieces together. Slowly but surely, the dust and rock began to coalesce into a more solid structure. The ambiguous debris cloud slowly morphed into a celestial body, a transformation that required millions of years to complete. Out of the remnants of the earth theia collision, a new celestial body was born, our moon. However, the birth of the moon was far from a serene event. In its early stages, the moon was a fiery, molten world. Its surface was frequently bombarded by remnants of the earth theia collision, making its early days an era of utter chaos, utter chaos and transformation, representing a fiery chapter in its prolonged history. As time passed, the moon began to cool down. Its molten, liquid surface hardened, transforming into the familiar crater-pocked landscape we recognize today. These craters, a constant reminder of the moon's turbulent past, are scars permanently etched onto its surface by countless meteor impacts. The creation narrative of our moon is not merely a tale of Genesis, it's a testament to the power of cosmic forces, resilience, and survival against seemingly insurmountable odds. The moon, in its silent majesty, embodies the tumultuous processes birthed to it. Every night, as it softly illuminates our world from high above, the moon stands as an emblem of nature's enduring power. It weaves a story of resilience and metamorphosis, a narrative that communicates the relentless passage of time and the invincible forces that shape our universe. The moon's presence in our sky is a constant reminder of our planet's dynamic history. This celestial body has borne witness to the unfolding of Earth's history, silently observing from its lofty perch. The existence of the moon is a testament to the power of natural forces. It attests to the violence and beauty that characterize our universe. The moon, our silent partner in Earth's celestial dance, serves as a reminder of our humble place within the cosmos. The narrative of its creation and survival resonates with the essence of existence, emphasizing the timeless power power of the universe's forces. This tale underscores the beauty and majesty of the natural world, a narrative that is encoded in the very fabric of the cosmos. And so, our moon, the silent companion in Earth's celestial dance, made its grand. Emerging from the shadows of our cosmic theater, two intriguing characters take center stage the dinosaurs and the Anunnakis. Let's take a closer look at these captivating protagonists, their complex roles, and the enigmatic trails they left behind. First, we venture back in time. Approximately 230 million years ago, our planet was ushered into the Mesozoic era, also widely known as the Age of Dinosaurs. These magnificent beings held dominion over the Earth for an era that extended over 160 million years a time span that is astonishingly more than 800 times longer than humans have walked the Earth. Dinosaurs, in their astounding diversity, ranged from the tiniest avian-like creatures to the most gigantic terrestrial animals that have ever roamed our planet. Their abrupt extinction, occurring around 65 million years ago, remains a topic of extensive research and fierce debate. Did a colossal asteroid impact trigger their sudden downfall? or was it due to volcanic activities or a deadly combination of both? The solutions to these pressing questions continue to elude us, making dinosaurs one of the most riveting chapters of Earth's rich history. Let's now shift our focus to a different kind of character, the enigmatic Anunnakis. The term Anunnaki is translated as those of royal blood or those who descended from heaven to earth in ancient Sumerian texts. The Sumerians, one of the world's earliest civilizations, revered these entities as divine beings who had a significant impact on their culture and societal structure. Various theories postulate that the Anunnakis were otherworldly beings who played a pivotal role in shaping human civilization, aiding in its evolution and progression. Although these theories are met with a healthy dose of skepticism and controversy, they've sparked countless debates and discussions. Regardless of their actual origin, the Anunnakis, much like the dinosaurs, contribute an additional layer of intrigue and mystery to our cosmic voyage. From the reign of the mighty dinosaurs to the captivating tales of the enigmatic Anunnakis, our cosmic journey is punctuated by countless intriguing tales and mysteries, all awaiting to be deciphered. 
As we continue to delve deeper into our origins and our place in the vast cosmos, we must never lose sight of the fact that we are part of a magnificent cosmic narrative, a narrative that is still being written. We journey through this cosmic theater not just as spectators, but also as participants, keenly observing and actively shaping unfolding narrative of our cosmic journey. As we journey through this cosmic theater, let's not forget that we are both spectators and participants, watching and shaping the unfolding narrative of our cosmic journey. Let's delve deeper into the intriguing characters of our cosmic theater, the dinosaurs and the Anunnakis. Each holds a unique place in our narrative, each shrouded in their own layers of mystery and intrigue. The dinosaurs, those majestic beasts that once reigned supreme on our planet, are the first chapter of our story. Their existence, spanning millions of years, marked an age of grandeur and dominance. They adorned the Earth with their colossal sizes and diverse forms. The Argentinosaurus, a towering giant, could grow up to an astounding 100 feet in length. On the other end of the spectrum was the Compsognathus, a minuscule creature just slightly larger than a chicken, yet no less intriguing. There was as diverse as their sizes, with some like the Triceratops feasting on lush vegetation, while others like the fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex, the tyrant king, stalked and hunted their prey. Despite their domination, these extraordinary creatures were not invincible. Their sudden and unanticipated extinction, around 65 million years ago, still puzzles scientists and historians alike. Was it a catastrophic asteroid that ended their reign? Or were the Earth's own volcanic activities to blame? Perhaps it was a combination of both. The quest to uncover the truth continues, adding an element of suspense to our narrative. Next, we shift our focus to the Anunnakis, a fascinating chapter from the annals of ancient Sumerian culture. The Sumerians revered them as gods, crediting them with significant advancements in their society. These celestial beings, as they were depicted, hold a significant place in our cosmic yet. Were they truly divine? Or were they, as some theories suggest, advanced extraterrestrial beings that aided the evolution and progress of humanity? The true nature of the Anunnakis remains an enigma, adding to the mystery of our cosmic narrative. Despite the uncertainty surrounding their existence, the Anunnakis, much like the dinosaurs, contribute an element of fascination to our cosmic journey. As we delve deeper into these mysteries, we learn more about our place in the grand scheme of the universe. The dinosaurs and the Anunnakis, each in their own unique way, serve as reminders of the vast expanse of our cosmic theater, of the enigma it encapsulates, and of our relentless pursuit to decipher it. With every new discovery, we add another piece to the cosmic puzzle, constantly shaping and reshaping our understanding of the universe we inhabit. As we journey forward, let's remember that we are part of this grand cosmic story, both as spectators and participants, watching and shaping the unfolding narrative of our cosmic journey. Leaving the enigmatic world of the dinosaurs and the Anunnakis behind, we now step into a new chapter in the grand narrative of the cosmos, the rise of mammals and human evolution. Post the dinosaurs' disappearance around 65 million years ago, mammals, initially small and nocturnal, took center stage. These warm-blooded, fur-covered beings thrived in the dinosaur-ruled world shadows. However, with the dinosaurs' departure, they expanded, diversified, and grew significantly. Commencing as minuscule, shrew-like creatures, they diversified into numerous forms. Rodents, bats, whales, elephants, and primates are lineage. The primate evolution story is a survival and saga against formidable odds. Evolution took them from being tree-dwelling creatures to bipedal beings, the hominids. This marked a pivotal leap in our evolutionary trajectory, paving the way for the genus Homo, and eventually, Homo sapiens, us. But how did we evolve cognitively? When did we begin fabricating tools, developing language, and adorning cave walls with art? These questions persistently pique the of scientists and historians. The journey from the first mammal to us, modern humans, is a testament to evolution's power, a survival, adaptation, and innovation voyage. Unfolding this chapter of our cosmic narrative, our humble beginnings and our extraordinary journey come to the forefront. We evolved from tiny, nocturnal beings, entities capable of comprehending and exploring the cosmos. Our evolution story forms a significant chapter in the grand cosmic narrative, 
a journey from cosmic dust to conscious beings navigating the vast cosmic theater. In our forthcoming chapter, we delve into the civilization's rise, technology's development, and our unceasing quest to comprehend our cosmic standing. But for now, let's marvel at our journey so far, from cosmic dust to conscious beings navigating the vast cosmic theater. As we progress further into our history, understand that our past is marked not just by survival, but by our ability to overcome, adapt, and innovate. We discovered fire, invented the wheel, built societies, and now we stand at the brink of interstellar exploration. Our narrative is one of progress and resilience, a testament to the power of evolution and the indomitable spirit of life. Our story continues, driven by our curiosity and our determination to understand our place in the cosmos. We are not just observers of our own narrative, but active participants. Each step in our journey, each discovery and innovation, each triumph and setback shapes our cosmic narrative's direction and pace. As we move forward, let us remember this. We are not mere spectators, but the authors our own destiny in this grand cosmic journey. Remember, we are not just spectators. We are participants, shaping our own narrative in this grand cosmic journey. Moving ahead in our cosmic narrative, we bypass the realm of primates and venture into the emergence of civilizations and the evolution of the human intellect. The early inklings of civilization started to emerge around 10,000 years ago as humans began shifting from wandering hunter-gatherer lifestyles towards established farming communities. This crucial shift is known as the Neolithic Revolution, a significant turning point in human history that laid the groundwork for the advent of civilizations. Beginning in regions such as Mesopotamia, the Nile Valley, the Indus Valley, and eventually in China, Mankind initiated the construction of cities, the invention of written language, the formation of intricate social structures, and the participation in trade. These pioneering civilizations, with their groundbreaking innovations and intricate complexity, were the foundation upon which our modern world was built. But what about the development of the human brain? When did we begin to think, to speculate, to question? Some of the earliest evidence of symbolic thinking and creativity can be traced back to cave paintings dating back roughly 40,000 years. These ancient artworks portray animals, human figures, and abstract symbols, bearing witness to our ancestors' ability to think symbolically and with imagination. The creation of language, another significant milestone in human cognitive evolution, facilitated the communication of intricate thoughts and the preservation and sharing of knowledge. The first writing systems, developed approximately 5,000 years ago, were another leap forward in human progress, enabling the recording of history, laws, and literature. The rise of civilizations coupled with the development of the human brain is a riveting chapter in our cosmic journey. From the initial farming settlements to the grand civilizations of Egypt, Mesopotamia, and the Indus Valley, and from primitive cave paintings to the invention of the written word, we witness the impressive evolution of our species. However, our journey doesn't end here. As we forge ahead in our narrative, we'll delve into the growth of technology, the scientific revolution, and our unending pursuit to comprehend our place in cosmos. But for the moment, let's halt and marvel at the extraordinary journey we have traversed so far. From mere cosmic dust to conscious beings capable of erecting civilizations, inventing writing and exploring the cosmos, the chronicle of our evolution is truly a remarkable story. Keep in mind, we are not just passive spectators in this grand cosmic theater. We are active players, continually shaping our narrative as we persist in exploring and understanding our cosmos. As we continue our journey through human history, we encounter an intriguing chapter shrouded in enigma and contention, the perplexing Anunnakis. Stemming from the ancients of the Sumerian civilization, the Anunnakis, typically translated to mean those who from heaven to earth came, have been the focal point of numerous debates and widespread speculation. As we delve into the text from this time, the Anunnakis emerge as influential deities who descended on earth, harbingers of profound knowledge and wisdom. The Sumerian civilization attributed them with the establishment of the earliest societies known to mankind. They were believed to be responsible for the invention of writing, 
an unprecedented leap in the communication technology of that era. They were also credited with significant advancements in the realm of agriculture and architectural designs. Theories surrounding their profound influence on the course of human civilization are numerous and varied, each more intriguing than the last. Some theorists propose an idea that is out of this world, literally. They suggest that the Anunnakis were in fact extraterrestrial beings, originating from a world beyond our own. These beings, they believe, tampered with the genetic makeup of humans, transforming them into an efficient workforce. Others advocate a more grounded theory, proposing that the Anunnakis were part of advanced human civilizations, perhaps originating from a lost continent. This civilization's profound knowledge and technological advances, they posit, greatly catalyzed the development of early societies. The debate surrounding the true nature of these Anunnakis is ongoing, spanning across centuries and across various cultures. Skeptics are quick to dismiss the Anunnakis as mere mythological figures, woven from the fabric of human imagination, while staunch believers argue for their historical or even extraterrestrial existence. Regardless of one's perspective, the significant influence of the Anunnakis on ancient cultures, especially in terms of technological and intellectual advancements, is irrefutable. The Anunnakis, whether real or fabricated, continue to captivate us, igniting debates and theories about our ancient past. They stand as symbols of our enduring fascination with the unknown, our unquenchable thirst for knowledge, and our constant pursuit of understanding. As we dive deeper into our cosmic narrative, we continue to unravel the enigmas of our past, constantly reshaping our comprehension of our place in the cosmos. Our cosmic journey now propels us into the intriguing zone of speculation. In this comprehensive segment, we embark on a journey to explore the rich legacy of the Anunnakis and the manifold theories surrounding the ancient wisdom they supposedly bestowed upon humanity. As we dive into the vast world of Anunnakis, we find ourselves teetering the thin line separating history from mythology. These celestial beings, as per the tales, descended from the heavens and are credited with sharing knowledge and wisdom with early civilizations. The Sumerians, one of the primordial civilizations, attributed their advancements in various fields such as agriculture, architecture, and writing to these divine entities. What makes the Anunnakis particularly interesting is that their influence, whether rooted in reality or born from myth, stretches far beyond their alleged contributions to ancient societies. Several theorists put forth hypotheses about the true identity of these celestial beings. Some propose that the Anunnakis were extraterrestrial beings who carried out genetic engineering on humans to create a labor force. While this theory paints them as alien life forms, another theory proposes that they were an advanced human civilization, possibly originating from a now lost continent. Skeptics, however, dismiss these theories, viewing the Anunnakis as nothing more than figments of ancient imagination. To them, the tales of the divine beings are simply testament to the creative minds of early civilizations. The debate, however, rages on, fueled by humanity's relentless curiosity about our roots and the enigmatic cosmos. Despite the ongoing debates and contrasting theories, the legacy of Anunnakis remains intact. It shapes our understanding of ancient civilizations and spurs us on to further explore our cosmic narrative. The enduring for dinosaurs and Anunnakis, each in their unique ways, serve as constant reminders of the vast expanse and profound mystery that our cosmos embody. As we journey further into our cosmic history, we will delve into captivating narratives of the Anunnakis and their profound influence on human civilization. The diverse theories and debates surrounding the Anunnakis encourage us to question, to seek, and to learn. The quest for understanding continues, and with each new discovery, we find our views of our place in the cosmos evolving. Our understanding of the cosmos is transient, constantly evolving as we gain new insights and make new discoveries. As we step further into the unknown, we are persistently reshaping our perception of our place in the cosmos. The quest for understanding continues as we delve deeper into our cosmic journey, constantly reshaping our understanding of our place in the cosmos. As we journey through the annals of time, we encounter a chilling chapter, the Ice Age. This epic was not just an era, but an elemental force, a phenomenon that took hold of the planet and reformed it completely, 
changing the very fabric of life on Earth. It was a period that reshaped the Earth's landscapes, altering the course of evolution, leaving an indelible imprint on the world we know today. The Ice Age, a term referring to a series of glaciations or ice advances, was a time of dramatic and severe glacial expansion. This epoch was driven by intricate and complex changes in the orbit and atmospheric composition, changes so profound they sent the Earth into a deep freeze. The temperature plummeted, ushering in an era of intense cold that lasted for millennia. This chilling epoch transformed lush, verdant landscapes into icy wastelands, creating an environment so harsh that life was forced to adapt, evolve, or perish. Beneath the looming glaciers, nature began to transform. Great forests, once teeming with life, gave way to expansive tundras. Many species found themselves on the precipice of extinction, their habitats lost to the encroaching ice. And yet, in the face of these challenges, survival stories emerged. Mighty creatures like the woolly mammoth and the saber-toothed tiger thrived in these harsh conditions, their thick fur and strong bodies perfect adaptations to the unforgiving environment. Amidst this icy backdrop, a new protagonist emerged, the cavemen. These early hominids, armed with rudimentary tools and a burgeoning intellect, braved the icy wilderness, eking out an existence amidst the snow, and they huddled in caves for warmth, hunting mammoth for sustenance, and created some of the earliest known artworks, hinting at a growing cultural consciousness. As the past, the Earth's climate began to change. Gradually, the ice receded, giving way to fertile lands and abundant resources. The transition from ice age to warmer climate spurred a significant shift in human evolution, driving migration, promoting agricultural practices, and paving the way for the rise of early civilizations. The Ice Age and the Cavemen, these narratives from our ancient past, remind us of the resilience and adaptability of life in the face of changing climates and environments, they as a testament to the indomitable spirit of survival, the will to adapt, and the power of evolution. As we journey forward, let's remember that we are part of this grand cosmic story, both as spectators and participants, watching and shaping the unfolding narrative of our cosmic journey. As we continue our journey, we delve deeper into the chilling chapter of the Ice Age and the emergence of cavemen. This is a significant period to understand as it affected the entire planet and the evolution of life on Earth. A common misconception is that the Ice Age was a single event, when in actuality, it was a series of glacial expansions and contractions that enveloped the Earth in sheets of ice and snow, spanning millions of years. These episodes were not abrupt but were triggered by various factors including changes in Earth's orbit, atmospheric composition, and volcanic activity. Each played a crucial role in sending the Earth into these cold periods. The effects were far-reaching, drastically reshaping Earth's landscapes and redirecting the course of life. The severity of these icy epochs varied. Some were so severe that they blanketed almost the entire planet in ice, creating a chilling scenario known as Snowball Earth. In these freezing conditions, life as we know it faced the ultimate test of survival. While numerous species succumbed to the intense cold, others adapted to the new environment and evolved to withstand the freezing conditions. The woolly mammoth is a classic example of an Ice Age success story. With a thick coat of fur layers of fat for insulation, this creature was uniquely equipped to survive the harsh winters. Their adaptation helped them thrive in the harsh conditions of the Ice Age. However, perhaps the most noteworthy survivors were the cavemen, the early humans who managed to survive through these freezing periods. These hominids were not the primitive, brutish creatures often depicted in pop culture. They were resourceful and intelligent beings with an understanding of the world around them, maturing with each passing day. Armed with primitive tools and a growing intellect, the cavemen faced the icy wilderness. They sought refuge in caves for warmth, hunted mammoths for nourishment, and made cave paintings the earliest known artworks which hint at a growing cultural and a desire to communicate and record their experiences. As the Earth's climate began to gradually warm, the ice receded, paving the way for fertile lands and abundant resources. Sea levels rose, altering coastlines, creating new habitats, and catalyzing a significant shift in human evolution. This transformation spurred migration, encouraged agricultural practices, 
and laid the foundation for the rise of early civilizations. In essence, the Ice Age and the cavemen each, in own unique way, remind us of the resilience and adaptability of life in the face of ever-changing climates and environments. They provide valuable insights into the course of evolution, survival strategies, and the ability to adapt and evolve according to the surroundings. As we journey forward, let's remember that we are part of this grand cosmic story, not merely as spectators, but as participants too. We are all intimately involved in watching and shaping the unfolding narrative of our cosmic journey. As the icy clutches of the Ice Age receded, our early ancestors faced a new and changing world. This new world, exposed by the gradual retreat of the ice, unveiled fertile landscapes rich in diverse resources. These newly uncovered plains provided the perfect conditions for vast forests and grasslands to blossom, setting the stage for a significant transformation in human existence. The inhabitants of this era, better known as the cavemen, found themselves in a more merciful environment. The receding ice revealed a world abundant with opportunities and resources. This led to a sense of curiosity and a drive to adapt, to discover new ways to ensure their survival. The cavemen began to explore innovative ways of existence, shedding their nomadic lifestyle by shifting their focus away from hunting and gathering. This marked the inception of a critical revolution, the agricultural revolution. The cavemen were no longer solely dependent on the unpredictable cycle of hunting and gathering for survival. Instead, they began to experiment with the planting of seeds, cultivating crops, and domesticating animals. This shift in food production methods was more than just a change. It was a revolutionary game changer. It not only provided a consistent food source, but also enabled a considerable increase in population size. Agriculture became the catalyst for an unprecedented transformation. The cultivation of land and domestication of animals allowed early humans to establish permanent settlements, thus bidding farewell to their nomadic way of life. They constructed huts, granaries, and communal areas, embodying the early stages of civilization as we know it today. These settlements acted as hubs for humans to live in larger communities, encouraging sociability, collaboration, and the exchange of ideas. The newfound stability that these settlements provided stimulated a surge in creative and innovative thought. Early humans began to develop new tools, understand pottery, and experiment with more intricate forms of art and symbolism. This burst of innovation was not just a testament to the human ability to adapt, but also a significant step towards creating a more structured and organized society. As these settlements expanded, they formed the backbone of larger communities, ultimately paving the way for the establishment of cities, kingdoms, and empires. However, the story of the rise of these grand structures and systems is a tale for another time. Join us in the next scene as we delve deeper into the dawn of civilizations and the mysteries that they hold. Until then, remember, we are all part of this grand cosmic story, spectators and participants in the ever unfolding narrative of our universe. Voice over. As we continue this cosmic journey, we turn our gaze from the early settlements to the rise of the first civilizations. The agricultural revolution put the wheels in motion, paving the way for what was to come. Voice over, the genesis of agriculture and the creation of early settlements were distinct milestones along the path of humanity's progress. An undeniable shift occurred, however, with the emergence of structured societies. As numbers swelled and settlements sprawled, there was an increasing need for systems to maintain harmony and mutual cooperation. Voice over. The dawn of the civilizations, such as the renowned Sumer in the land of Mesopotamia, marked the ascent of a governing class. This consisted of the kings and the priests, the lawmakers and the enforcers, individuals who wielded power and authority. They laid down the law, instituted tax collection, and supervised the creation of public infrastructure. Voice over. However, it was not solely about dominance. These early civilizations saw the genesis of structured religious practices, the construction of writing systems, and the flourishing of art and culture. They were societies abundant in tradition, knowledge, and innovation. Voice over. Moreover, these civilizations were far from being isolated. They were intertwined, trading not only material goods, but also ideas and technologies. A mutual influence was prevalent as they interacted with one another. 
This marked the birth of a worldwide community, a conglomerate of civilizations that stretched across the globe. Voiceover. As we gaze upon these early civilizations, we discern more than just the formation of social and political structures. We witness the birth of humanity in its modern form, the inception of our combined identity. Voiceover. In the subsequent scene, we'll delve deeper into the enigmas of these ancient civilizations. We will explore their rise to power, their eventual decline, and their enduring influence on our contemporary world. Until then, bear in mind, we all have a role in this magnificent cosmic narrative. As observers and participants, we are integral to the continuous unfolding of our universe's story.